Hello, everyone. It is great to see you guys again. Thank you very much for tuning in and welcome to Jung Heinrich's first ever all virtual trade fair as we're broadcasting live from the Jung Heinrich's training center in Hamburg, Germany. Now, my name is Thomas and today in this video, we want to talk about one of the hottest topics in the warehouse and that is automation. Now, a lot of the companies are asking themselves the same questions today, such as, should I automate at all? And if so, how far should I push this? Full automation versus partial automation? And what about mixed operation? Is that even safe? Well, someone's got all the answers, and that is Jung Heinrich expert Ramanathan Sankaran Arayanan. It's good to see you again. Hi, Tom. It's lovely <laughs> to see you again, and thank you for saying my name properly. I can call you Rambo, right? <laughs> yes, please call me Rambo. Yeah, so how have you been in between? I know last time we saw each other was at uh, Logimat last year, 2019, in absolutely, Stuttgart. Absolutely. With a year forward, I feel, I feel absolutely gripping. And I think I feel even privileged to be a part of an organization that takes innovation so seriously uh, with the objective of, of solving customers' problem in mind in, in a sustainable way. So I'm absolutely fantastic. Thank you for asking. Now, I just mentioned some of the questions that um, companies are facing these days regarding automation. And I almost suppose there's not this one simple answer, answer that fits everyone. Is that correct? <laughs> I wish I could give you a very simple answer. Unfortunately, I won't be able to. The reason for that, Thomas, is um, the solutions is always based on the problem what a customer faces. And it's not a standard solution that we could ever offer, and which is, which is one of the key strengths of Jung Heinrich, that we try and understand what are the problems of customers and what are things that we really have to factor into solutions so it becomes a cost-effective solution on long term for our customers. So I'm afraid I can't give you a direct answer, but what I can assure you is this. At the end of the uh, implementation of a solution, every one of those customers have always had cost synergies. Okay, now obviously the automated warehouse exists and uh, there are tons of areas that one could possibly automate, such as we're talking about software systems, we're talking about conveyor systems, and obviously a decisive role is also being played by the so-called automated guided vehicles, or in short, AGVs. And here in the back we do see some representatives from the Jung Heinrich lineup. Now, what's so special about these AGVs here and what are the benefits that come along with them? For starters, the biggest benefit is that all of these trucks, all of the AGV behind me, which is the ERC213A or EKS215A or the EZ series, all of them are based on our existing field-tested standard series truck. As you can see, the frame is completely the same. It's just this box, which is added to it, makes it a completely an AGV truck. So one of the, what are the benefits? Speaking from a customer benefits, when you buy these trucks, you get the standard robust model and a proven technology that has already been working for thousands of customers all around the world. Secondly, is the high availability. Because it is a standard truck, when you want to do your maintenances, there's no struggle. Thirdly, is the advantage what you get from this global dense network that we are able to offer our customers when you want support or any of the challenges that you have with the truck or if you want to scale it. Fourth, is that these trucks are absolutely lithium ion ready which is one of the proven technologies of Jung Heinrich. Why would anybody ever buy an AGV if you wanted just one operation? So it is, we, we built it so it's ready for multiple shift operations. The next is it works on the classic, as you see on the top, which is a laser technology. And it also has the reflective technology on the, on the walls. And that's exactly how it runs for the efficient operations. And finally, what I'm particularly proud of is the scanners that we have just around the truck. As you can see, we have one in the forward, one on the side. So it is not just on the drive direction, it's also on the load direction and even when you corner. If you think, is that enough? No. <laughs> we even have a scanner, a curtain scanner right from the top, which covers. One might wonder, why would anybody ever need it? But I assure you this, no amount of safety is enough where there are human beings walking about. <laughs> so we try to build a situation where it's much more safer for, for, it's a relief for a customer and a much more safer for anybody who's walking in a warehouse. So if someone comes closer to the warehouse, when these trucks are running, the truck would stop automatically. And only when the person goes away from the range of the truck would the truck resume its operations. Mm -hmm. So we try to create it with absolutely safety in every possible way in mind. 
Yeah, and that pretty much answers one of the questions which I posted in the very beginning, and that is the question whether mixed operation was actually safe, so mixed between machines and pedestrians on the other hand, and obviously it is. Now, as we're talking about hardware, um, these machines here, these trucks are actually running on lithium-ion batteries, and what we're seeing here is the charger. So how does that work? <laughs> Interesting you asked that question because this is one of the customer requirements and we develop it for a customer. So this customer wanted to use this truck 24-7 and he wanted to have an automatic, char automatic, uh, automatic charging instead of anybody coming and manually interve doing intervention. So this truck can directly, as you see, this particular spot can drive under this and it would be like a Wi-Fi charger is the example I can give you. So it is an inductive charging and it works and the truck automatically comes there and it charges itself. Yeah. Now, what about companies that are already running a partially automated warehouse? Mm -hmm. Would it be easy to implement those extra trucks into their running environment? And of course, of course, when we speak of solutioning, that's, that's the flexible solution we always want to give to our customers. We have our own developed Jung Heinrich logistics interface through which a customer has the opportunity to integrate any of our AGV trucks into the existing warehouse management system. It's not, no problem at all. Okay, so the logistics interface is actually a piece of middleware, it's a piece of software which is right between the WMS of the customer and the trucks and which makes it easier for those two to communicate with each other. Now, what about, let's take this one step further, what about companies that are running a non Jung Heinrich automated warehouse now? And once again, I want to implement those trucks or any other hard or even software like the Jung Heinrich warehouse management system. Mm -hmm. How would that work then? I mean, it's a good point, Thomas, but I hate to sound like a broken record because any solution what we develop should solve a customer's problem. And, and this is something that we always have in the forehead when we develop, when we innovate products for our customers. So with this logistics interface, you'd be able to seamlessly integrate into any of the foreign network. If I were to compare, I would say it is more like a travel, universal travel charger. It absolutely doesn't matter what network you have. With our logistics interface, you'll be able to take our AGVs and integrate them without any trouble into your, into your existing foreign WMS systems. Okay, now let's say I was your customer. How would I actually find out which areas in my warehouse would then benefit from either partial or even full automation? What are the steps that need to be taken? Um, there are a series of things, but let's try and cover as much as possible in the interest of time. If, let's say if you're a customer who has achieved a certain level of standardization in your warehouse uh, in the, with, the folk, uh, folk, uh, with the load carriers. Could be either Euro pallets or industrial pallets, it, et cetera, doesn't matter. When you achieve this certain level of um, standardization, automation is going to add immense value to you because it would help avoid this, this re doing this repetitive task through which you can gain cost synergies. That's one. Or if you're a customer who's got complex assortment of goods, where uh, automation is going to be your money maker because it would help prevent uh, picking the wrong goods because it usually ends up resulting in expensive returns. So their automation is an absolute money maker. Or if you're a customer who has business growth which is knocking on your door and you should be ready to take advantage of the business growth. But with business growth always comes the rise in the, in the demand and capacity which you don't have. So to take advantage of the growth and grow profitably, automation is the way to go. Or the, one of the last things that also comes to my mind is the human effect. As you know, finding a trained operator for trucks these, in this day and age is already difficult. To this mix, when you add the manual errors, the physical stress, and the seasonal peak where they have to work even more harder without any errors, is going to be really much of a is, is really a bit of a challenge. In all of these situations, automation is the way to go because the biggest benefit what you will get from automation is that the goods are going to be brought to the people instead of person going about in the warehouse with paper in their hand and picking things by hand. So this is where you would see the, the leverage what you will get as a customer. And as a byproduct of this is the effect on the number of people that you will require. You will exactly need the people, what you, uh, what, what, uh, only for that particular job, you won't have more. You, you, it will show you that you don't need more people or you need less people, just the right amount of people. So it's all about these processes and how they work with each other so you get the best efficiency out of it. Yeah. Now, Ram, would you possibly have a recent practical example where you actually helped a customer to solve some of those challenges <coughs> that you just mentioned? 
Lots of them. <laughs> uh, I'm just, trying just to. Just a few, not all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of them. I'm thinking, where do I even start? And there was this particular customer uh, who came to us from Germany, and his concern was he wanted to be able to tr uh, transfer the pallets that comes from the conveyor belt into either a V&A aisle or to a packing station right next to it. And the biggest demand for this customer is that he wants to do the automotive charging. He wanted to run the operation 24-7. And the second biggest one is flexibility, because this customer already had a warehouse management system. So in both of these situations, we offered the ERC213A, in fact, with the same charger while you're standing underneath, with which the customer was able to charge the truck automatically without any trouble. And with the warehouse management system interface, uh, the Junghandig logistics interface, we were able to seamlessly integrate this truck into its existing warehouse management system. So this is one of the things that I can think of from the top of my head. Okay, I think um, I'm just getting a sign that we're getting way too long here. Anyway, <laughs> we want to wrap this up. So uh, eventually, uh, Ram, why should I go with Jung Heinrich if I was planning to automate my warehouse? Why is Jung Heinrich the perfect partner which has all the expertise that I would need and also expect as your customer? Oh, I have lots of reasons. <laughs> um, but off the top of my head, I would always say the market expertise, what we have in solutioning, or the premium products, what we produce, or the global dense network support that you can get, that you can take advantage of. Or it could be this flexibility, it could be the efficiency, what you always get. But I think as a customer, if I were to look at you, I would look at it for one thing. It's the customer focus, because it is the key with which we do everything at Jung Heinrich. And I think it is this key ambition that drives us forward and finding the right solution for our customers. And that's exactly why a customer should choose Jung Heinrich Services. That's a wrap. Thank you so much, Ram, for sharing all this information okay. with us today. And i also like to thank you guys for joining us in this video here. And we'll be back with more information with another hot topic from the warehouse. And if you have any further questions regarding the subject of automation, please be so kind to talk to either your Jung Heinrich representative, or you may also post your questions in the chat window, which is wherever now, somewhere here. I think it's below. Anyway, you'll find it. Thank you very much, and we'll be back with more in just a little bit. Thank you.